here in front of me is a pile of root zone sand, an 8515 sphagnum peat. That's straight sand, but we've been harvesting from that, so we disturbed it. So we're going to focus on this pile of sand. We just had a rain three days ago. This entire pile was soaked with the rain, and as you can see, the dark hue down below is still where the moisture is. The, everything above has been dried down now. So this is how a 12-inch red zone came to be. This particle size within the sand combined with the organic matter gives you this moisture release curve and as you could imagine that hue of moist sand is right at 12 inches. So the concept here is if you had the turf growing in this region here then you would have the surface slowly drying out as it evaporates and the plant consumes it through evapotranspiration it will get lost and the dry down will continue to deepen and then you replenish it with irrigation or another rain event. But um, this is what a 12 inch root zone would perform like. So if you looked at a variable depth green now and you have undulations, you can see water's always going to seek its own level, right? So if you stand back, you'll see that, that that whole ring of dark sand is all the moist sand and above it's the drier sand. So now let's put in a green with some undulations. It's a little perhaps exaggerated with this small of an area, but now this is the problem. Uh, USGA root zone with a perched water table works really well for soccer fields and flat surfaces, but on putting surfaces, as you can see now, this area here will dry, this area here will stay uh, moist far more often. So the concept, again, is to not have a continuous 12 inch layer on top of your subgrade, but to have these high areas um, have the grade actually come up slightly more, like two to three inches higher, and as you get down into the lower areas, actually deepen it. So now what you're trying to do, in essence, when this water tries to seek its own level in its moisture, then uh, these low areas will be have a deeper sand base allowing the surface to dry out quicker and the area that wants to dry out being on a ridge line will have a shallower root zone sand base and be that much closer to the water level so that's the concept in general the best i can explain it on a variable depth root zone construction method